Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you. Uh, let us continue our learnings of the Dhammapada and uh, in this uh, video I will be uh, covering verses 181 to, one to, uh, 181 to 200. Uh, you can see the Dhammapada playlist uh, which is uh, there on the my channel go in playlists and the Dhammapada playlist is available where you can see the all the verses that I have done the videos on right I am t uh, doing my reading from this book the Dhammapada by Eknath Iswaran a very very good book and it is available on Amazon so you can purchase this book uh, so today uh, uh, verse 181 let, let us start uh, Buddha says that even the gods emulate those who are awakened established in meditation they live in freedom and at peace so here Buddha is saying the qualities of those who are awakened they are established in even the gods emulate them and established in meditation they live in freedom and at peace verse 182 it is hard now this is a very important verse it is hard Buddha says it is hard to obtain human birth harder to live like a human being harder still to understand the dharma and hardest of all is to attain the nirvana right so the Buddha is actually talking about how difficult it is hard to achieve human birth right so we have checked check that box right harder to live like a human being that is question mark or we can all evaluate right that is even harder if you get a human birth and to live like a human being are two separate things right third harder is still to understand the dharma right so we are studying the dharma we are on our way to understanding of dharma and we will understand so it's a big achievement hardest of all is to attain nirvana so if like 100 people are, are on the path of the nirvana very few people buddha says achieve that that level of diligence that level of focus we all need to cultivate in ourselves so that we so see it's not about it takes many lifetimes also but no matter how many lifetimes it takes but this lifetime i will fully use it to reach to nirvana as close as possible that i can do in this lifetime right so that should be our objective so very important verse where buddha is talking about the importance this human birth gods even yearn for this human birth they also crave for this human birth that we have got so let's not waste it make full of use of it verse 183 avoid all evil cultivate the good purify your mind this sums up the teaching of the buddhas so buddha says avoid all evil that means moral conduct cultivate the good right conduct do the right things purify purify your mind mental development through meditation right so that is what buddha says this sums up the teaching of the buddhas so this whole dhammapada is for lay people who cannot spend time reading the discourses and everything and you know they just want some basic instruction on how to live their life so three things avoiding evil cultivating the good virtues and purifying the mind right all three things we need to do verse 184 buddha says cultivate the patience that endures and attains nirvana the highest goal of life do not oppress others or cause them pain that is not the way of a spiritual aspirant so cultivate that patience that 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 skill it's not just the patient of being you know uh, of controlling your temper in the day to day situations but cultivate the spiritual patience that is needed to walk this path of dharma because there will be many times where it will be a question of you know whether to follow the dharma or not and that is where our whole training the the time we spend in our meditation the how we purify our mind all that spiritual energy that we have built up will come to test in deciding whether to take this noble path or go on the uh, evil path right so deep patience is required to persist in following the dharma the road of dharma irrespective of whatever comes our way do not oppress others or cause them pain if we do that we create karma for negative karma for ourselves and that is not the way of spiritual aspirant buddha says now buddha says do not find fault with others do not injure others but live accordance in accordance with the dharma be moderate in eating and sleeping and meditate on the highest that sums up the teaching of the buddhas so here buddha is in this section buddha is basically summing up his teachings right do not find fault with others do not injure others no killing no stealing 
no lying, right? No sexual misconduct. Live in accordance with the dharma, noble eightfold path. Be moderate in eating and sleeping. The precise Buddha is saying that moderation in our eating we need to be moderate. In our sleeping we need to be moderate and meditate on the highest. This sums up the teaching of the Buddha. Verse one eighty six. Even a shower of gold cannot quench the passions. They are wise who know that passions are passing and bring pain in their way. That means Buddha is saying no matter how much you know gold can be showered, it cannot quench the passions. So the wise ones they realize that all these passions are just impermanent, arising and falling, non and bring suffering. So we will not get stuck in that, and they bring pain and suffering in its way. So the wise one know this. Verse one eighty seven. Even celestial pleasures cannot quench the passions. They are true followers of the Buddha who rejoice in the conquest of desires. So, again, Buddha says that even the celestial pleasures cannot quench the thirst of passions. The true follower of the Buddha conquests all desires. Desires have to be eliminated, right? Desires have to be overcome. We have to go beyond the desire, not to suppress the desire, but to go beyond the desire. Verse one eighty eight, one eighty nine. Driven by fear, people run for security to mountain and forests. To sacred spots and shrines, but none of these can be a safe refuge, because they cannot free the mind from fear. How deep is this, right? People go when fear is there. People go in mountains, forests, spots, shrines, but Buddha says none can be a safe refuge, because they cannot free the mind from the fear, right? Fear is there in the mind. You can go to any place, but still the mind you carry the mind wherever you go. Is the problem is there in the mind, right? You, it's not that by going to a particular place you'll get rid of the mind from the fear. Next verse is very very important. Verse one ninety one ninety one ninety one ninety one one ninety two. This third set of three verses very important. Take refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha, and you will grasp the four noble truths: suffering, the cause of suffering, the end of suffering, and the noble eightfold path that takes you beyond the suffering. That is your best refuge, your only refuge. When you reach it, all sorrow falls away. How deep! This is here where Buddha is talking about the three refuges: Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. I have made a detailed video on the three refuges. You can triple gem. It is also known as triple gem. So when you enter the Buddhist path, when you become a Buddhist, these are the triple gem. Usually, in the small ceremonies that they have um, uh, in the in the monasteries, they make you. Take the th triple gem and the five precepts, right? So, the, so we go back to the Buddha, we go back to the Dharma, we go back to the sa Sangha. Whenever storm is there, we come into house, close windows, and and go back to the Buddha, go back to the knowledge, and and the path, right? Verse one ninety three. One like the Buddha is hard to find. Such a one is not born anywhere. When where those established in wisdom are born, the community flourishes, right? So Buddha is talking the importance of Buddha. One like a Buddha is hard to find. So now that we have found our teacher, let us follow what the teacher is saying. Let us follow his guidance. And wherever that teacher is born, the community flourishes by following the teachings of that master. Verse one ninety four. Blessed is the birth of the Buddha. Blessed is the teaching of the Dharma. Blessed is the Sangha where all live in harmony. All are blessed. One ninety four, one one ninety five, one ninety six. Buddha says, "Blessed beyond measure are those who pay homage to those worthy of homage, to the Buddha and his disciples, who have gone beyond evil, shed all fear, and crossed the river of sorrow to the other shore." So, blessed beyond measure are the ones who pay homage, who pay do donate the give dana to Buddha and his disciples who have gone beyond evil. Right? Okay. Now we come to verse one ninety seven. Buddha says, "Let us live in joy, never hating those who hate us. Let us live in freedom without hatred, even amongst those, without hatred, even among those who hate." So Buddha is saying very important thing that do not live in joy. Don't hate other people because in the if you see the original, I think verse number between one to ten, it was there that hatred can be won over by love only. This is the only unalterable law. hatred cannot be won over by hatred so even those even those people who hate us we should not harbor the feelings of hatred in our minds against them just live in freedom live in love without hatred 
and even in the environment if you are living in an environment where people hate each other do not do not live in hatred verse 198 let us live in joy never falling sick like those who are sick let us live in freedom without disease even amongst those who are ill so behave with us in my view what i my understanding is that various spiritual and mental illnesses people gather from the various wrong ways of physical illnesses due to the wrong ways of living their life so even those people around us are getting sick due to these things there is so much sickness that you can see in all the social media and a hatred that is there but we should not let not let ourselves sick we should live in joy verse 199 let us live in joy never attached amongst those who are selfishly attached let us live in freedom even amongst those who are bound by selfish attachments so in a world where everyone is running after chasing after pleasures and everything we should endeavor to live in live in joy not being attached to anything verse number 200 let us live in joy never holding things among those who hold let us live in growing joy like bright gods so buddha again here buddha says don't hold don't hold things right it's not a good virtue so let other people let them hold but let us not hold so buddha's teaching is always on our development not asking other person to do something it's all about my own development i have to take care of right so if each of us takes care of their own development then the world will be a better place so buddha says that don't hate don't fall sick don't be attached don't hold the things so this is verse 200 complete from 201 onwards i will take it in another video i hope this video was useful to you thank you so much namo buddhaye namo